Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're doing a guide on World of Warcraft Dragonflight, going through the Sejourner of Thaldrassus achievement, which is part of the Loremaster of Dragon Isles achievement as well. Hopefully this video will help you. If it does, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's get into the video. So we're going to start here on the map with these cords. We're going to talk to Commander Thad Thaddeus and accept once, excuse me, what once was ours. That's going to have us go through and basically we just need to throw this. Right? Does that let us throw? Maybe not. Okay, yeah. We just need to get our percentage bar up. We can do so from killing, it seems. I'm not really sure what that's for. Okay, so you can find these guys here. And this is what the potions are for. That'll help with your percentage. Uh, yeah. They don't do a whole lot of percentage. But every bit counts. Alright, once we've done all that, we need to make our way here on the map. Right in front of this door, we're going to come inside of here and find a Sharnax wandering around. We protect the we'll turn Isles. in what once so was ours, and we'll pick up the forward push. Chaos. Okay, then we're going to pick up Glory pl to all Prime targets. Planning. Alright, we're going to come right outside of here. Too far we away. need to kill these guys to try and get seven of the War Orders, or Primalist Orders. Come right up here, and we need to kill this person. Right. Loot that from her. We also need to close three of these gateways. Right, and then next we need to make our way up here. Kill this person. and clear this gateway. All right, and then after we do that, we're gonna drop down here. We need to make our way, uh, I need to quit doing that. We need to make our way inside of there and destroy that one and kill him. All right, once we're done with all of that, we're gonna come here on the map, Welcome talk to, to Sharnax, turn in watch over the push here. forward, Victory and turn in Prime in Planning. Battles. We're going to pick up the Land Going Awakens. Search. Looks like for that, we're coming right in here. Going after that dude behind there. Alright, so once you get to him, he's got three guys channeling into him, I guess. And it looks like they're not tied together, so you can attack them one at a time. She's not concentrating, he'll attack you. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Alright, once he's defeated, we then need to make our way over to this primordial hail. Once we get over here, go ahead and attack him. He doesn't really have anybody to attack before, so. Alright, once we're done with that, we're gonna come back to Sharnax. Oh, gonna turn in moment. the land Honor awakens and pick up primal Lord list that is going to have us go this way on the map which is back on the bridge so we'll talk the to the commander the and turn in primal list and that completes this section all right for the next section we need to come here on the map and talk to the lieutenant the and pick dragons. up out of the blue Okay, hey, that's going to have us come up here. The okay, come in this cave, and we're gonna talk to 
Harleen. <laughs> and complete out of the blue. Right, we are then going to pick up Flying Rocks. And we're going to pick up Smash'em to Featherings. Right, that's just going to have us come out here. Looks like we need to mend eight of these. Just go up to them and click on that. And then we need to find the Screech Flight. And we need to kill eight of the Withers and ten of the Hex Claws. Alright, once we've done all that, we come back to the cave. You're gonna turn in Flying Rocks, turn in Smash Em to Featherings, and pick up Plucking Parts, and then pick up a Rocking Appetite, and then an Explosive Excrement. That doesn't sound lovely. So we're gonna make our way out here, and it looks like... We need to be over in this cave. So let's see, we need to, I guess, collect the bugs on the ground. Alright, so I guess we go up here and just start clicking this when they're around. Not very effective. So this probably will take a lot of clicking. Yeah, we also need to find this item right here. Then we need to make our way over here. But it looks like we need to head down. Yeah, over here. Item is still recharging. So it says that these big guys can be killed or used for this. But I'm not sure. Maybe they have to be dead first. Yeah, it looks like they do. It is not ready. Alright, we need to come over here and pick up these items right here. I cannot use that item here. I need to target something first. Alright, we then need to make our way over here. It is not ready. Thing as we go. Right, so now we need to click this right here. That item is still Gonna make our way back out. I cannot use that item yet. It is not ready yet. Now, we'll go over towards this way. We're gonna jump down here. There's this little entrance right over here. So now we've got to kill this one and pick up that part. Alright, once we kill the named Harpy, we'll be able to pick up an item from her that gives us the quest Rolling in the Screech. So we'll go ahead and accept that. that item is still recharging. Now we need to pick up this item here. And then as we make our way back out of the cave to turn the these others in, just keep spamming this button so that you can get the 100%. Alright, so once we're done with all that, we return here. We turn in Plucking Parts. Over here, turn in a Rocking Appetite. Turn in Rolling in a Screech. And turn in Explosive ex Excrement. Where they're going to pick up Separating the Yolk. And a nest of our own. Go over here and pick up its plucking time. Alright, so now we want to make our way here on the map at these cords. 
Alright, so we need to dilute them anyway. We also need to get these guys to pluck their feathers. And then we need to click on these eggs to save the eggs. So we just keep going down and doing all of that. Alright, we also do need to kill these water elementals as they drop some nifty stuff for us. Not really nifty, but for the quest. Alright, once we've done all that, we need to make our way here on the map. We're going to turn in its plucking time. Until next time. Turn in separating the yolk. And turn in a nest of our own. We'll then pick up Screech Flight Potluck. Okay, so we need to put on this disguise. Then come around here into this cave. Show the egg, not head. Toss the egg in there. And knock screech like sorcery out. So I guess, uh, wait a minute, yeah. Alright, now we can go back. Well, I guess we don't have to go back. We can turn in Screech Flight Potluck and pick up the awaited explosion. It looks like for that we're putting on a new disguise. Dunk the egg in the stew, so we'll click that. Wait for it to do its thing here. Never expected I'd be a harpy. Okay, take the one-way taxi up. Is much How do we discover. do that? I guess we come out here. Yeah, okay. And click on this. Here we go. Into this cave, it seems. Right, so we're going to place the egg here. And stay in character, so wait for some RP. Alright, after a, a bit of RP, our disguise will be lost. And then we have to slay the matriarch. Slay her. Then come back out over here. Use that. We can't maneuver it, so it's just going to fly us where it flies us, which will be down here. Okay, we then come over here, talk to Harleen, and turn in the awaited explosion. And that completes this section. Alright, so for the next section, we're going to make our way here on the map. We're going to talk we to Zudiki and pick up Warcher Watcher. That's going to have us come down this way. Okay, so we're going to make our way inside of here. Okay, so Mara is this giant right here. So we go all the way here. And taken them back to this we click on her. Reclaim any that you can find. And now we can go turn it in. Alright, so we make our way back here. Calm. We're going to talk to her and in turn order. in... Watcher, watcher. Be well. And pick up where there's a ward, there's Lost a way. In order. Come over here. Welcome to the and eyes. pick up preventative order maintenance. Guide you. All right. So right around this area, we need to kill eight of the unleashed elementals. Then we also need to make our way over here. Alright, so in order to get into the hall, we have to fly up to this area on the map. Then we can come in here. 
make our way all the way to the end and click on this ward. Right, so now we need to make our way to the East Hall. Okay, from outside the North Hall, the East Hall is going to be right over here. So we'll just glide over and go and click the same thing, come back out. Alright, so we got both of those and all of the elementals. Come here and turn in where there's a ward, there's a way. Come over here and turn in preventative maintenance. Pick up ret ret fee retribution, Stay within and I pick up we you. don't negotiate with primalists. That's going to have us come this way to this cave area here. Right, so looks like we're going to be killing the little drizzles. and the primalists to get that up to 100%. And we need to make our way to the back and up the cave so that we can find this piece right here and we're gonna need to get rid of Kojo. So we gotta get rid of these elementals first. All right, after you kill all of them, we're then going to pick up that ward piece. Alright, and so the next thing we need to do is click on these refty corpses. As we do, or as we check them, uh, some of them will get up and run away. Like that, and we need to find four of those. You can kind of tell which ones they're going to be, because if you look, they glow quite a bit brighter. Okay, and once done with all that, we're going to come back, we and we're going to turn in, we don't negotiate with primalists, Safe and then going to turn in Refty Retribution, then we're going to come what over here and pick up for the ward. That is going to have us come to three different sections of the map. Okay, so the first one is back up in here. Go click on the orb again. Once we've done that, we'll come back out and we're going to fly to the next ward location. Right over here. We'll again go inside, click on the orb. All right, once we've done that, we're then going to fly down to this entrance right here. go all the way to the end and click this orb. Okay, and then once we've done that, we'll make our way back to Mara and click on this console. Then we can turn in for the ward, and that completes this section. Alright, so for the next section, we want to make our way over here. We're going to find the Spall Concierge and pick up Serene Dreams. That's going to have us come right over here. We're going to talk to this panda and turn in Serene Dreams and pick up the Yuga class. Then we're going to pick up Steam Cleaning. That'll have us come over this way. Down here, it seems. And we need to rescue yoga students here. Wants us to kill 12 of these elementals. In the middle here, there'll be this yoga instructor. We need to come right over here and click on this to pick up some favorite things. And now we'll just finish rescuing these guests. We also need to find six belongings. So we're going to look for clickables on the ground. So not specifically on the ground, as you can see we have cups here. 
that we can pick up. Most of it should be marked on your mini-map with the little yellow dots. Alright, once we've done all that, we're going to come back up here. Welcome. Turn in the Yuga class. Turn in some favorite things. Alright, and so unfortunately my recording missed a bit, but the next quest you're going to pick up is Precious Baby. Uh, the waypoints will be right there. From there, you're going to do a little bit of RP and then pick up the quest from the creature. Look at the bones. And for Look at the Bones, there's basically piles of bones on the ground that you go around and click 10 of them. Alright, once we're done with that, we're gonna come back, turn in Precious Baby, turn in Look at the Bones. Then come here and pick up Enforced Relaxation. In which case, we're supposed to kill a summoner. Looks like it's Dowry. Right? Yes, we'll make our way here to these cords to come into this cave. And we've got to kill her. Alright, once you defeat her, we'll come back up here and turn in Enforced Relaxation. And that completes this section. Alright, for the next section, we need to make our way here. Find Way Watcher Alvi, pick up Supplying and Wait, and pick up a sketchy request. It's going to have us come this way, where we need to kill the scavengers to try to get the key, and then we also need to pick up six supplies. Alright, once we have the key, we need to make our way here on the map to open this chest to pick up the ledger. Once we're done with all that, then we're going to make our way over here, right here on the map, and we're going to turn in Supplying and Wait, and turn in a sketchy request. We'll then pick up a Poisonous Palette, and pick up Ending the Blue Period. Right, so that's going to have us come back over this way. Okay, and so we need to kill these guys to loot the enveloped spears. And we're going to need eight of the spears. We also need to come here on the map at these cords to enter this cave, where we're going to find Blue Scale. We need to defeat him. Alright, so after you kill him, you go back to turn in that quest, and you're going to pick up cash and release and you're going to pick up art imitates life that'll have you go to a cave at this waypoint all right so inside of this cave we need to find these spear caches destroy eight of them all right and then at the very end of the cave we'll find this greater venom sprout this two we need to defeat all right and once we've done all that we need to make our way here on the map where we'll find Waywatcher Alvi again, and we'll turn in Master Cash Watcher and Release, and we'll turn in Art Imitates Victory Life. Now we'll finish this section. Alright, next up, we need to make our way here on the map, and we're going to look up uh, Gurmpeck, I think. Anyways, we're going to pick up Azeroth Pest Control. And so that's going to have us defeat eight of the agitated seedlings, these little guys right here. Once we've defeated eight of them, we'll then turn in Azeroth's Pest Control and pick up the Gardener's Apprentice. That is going to have us travel this way into this... Ooh into this opening right here. We're going to click on this book and pick up one Draconoid's Junk. And then we also need to basically click on all this stuff to clear it out so we can find the dude. 
So click on that, click on that. Must be in this unopened one. Yep, there we go. Okay. So now we've located him. Interesting. So now we'll go right back over here. And we'll turn in the Gardener's Apprentice. And turn in one Draconoid's Junk. We're going to pick up Elemental Extract. Lashing Out. And New Kid on the Clock. So we need to click on him to let him sniff our hand. And now we're going to head down this way. couple different locations over here. So the first location we'll go to is right here. We'll complete New Kid on the Clock and pick up Link Sands through the Hourglass. We need to look for these piles of sand. Alright, now down in this part of the map we need to find these elementals. We need to kill five of them. Or more specifically, we actually need to loot five watery essences. So you might be killing more than five. All right, and then next up, we need to come over here on the map to find these lashers. And we've got to kill 10 of them. It apparently doesn't matter if it's the big ones or little ones, just 10 of any of the lashers. All right, once we're done with that, we're going to come back here to Orizumu, turn in like sands through the hourglass. We are then going to make our way back over here to him, and we're going to turn in elemental extract and lashing out. We'll then pick up Flame at last. That is going to have us come over here. All right, and then we're going to use this water here on the Inferno. And now we need to kill this Blazing Inferno. All right, once he's slain, we'll come back here and turn in flame at last, and pick up carry on Basilton, Basilton, oh, and you get that pet, nice, alright, so we need to speak with the lord, okay, and then we can turn in carry on Basilton, that completes this section, and you get a, a nice little critter, right here, so cute. Alright, so next up we need to make our way here on the map. We're gonna find this guy and pick up Every Life Counts and Curiosity's Price. Okay, that's going to have us come this way. We can pick up the sun baked linens from in there. We'll need to get 40 pollen from these flowers. We will also need to click on this vine, pull it away. And kill this dude. All right, once we've done all that, we then need to come into this tower out in the middle of it all. We need to click on little jet stream to bandage him up. Now we can make our way back over here to him. We're going to turn in every life counts and turn in curiosity's price. We'll then pick up bleeding hearts and that's going to have us Go out this way. So 
It's like down here, perhaps. Yes. Okay. So right here on the map, at these cords, we're gonna come in here, click on this, and as a bonus, you can loot this. All right. So now we're gonna come back out here, and we need to make our way up there. And in here. All right. And we need to. Look right next to the door here and click on this. Then we'll talk to her and complete Bleeding Hearts. And that completes this section. Alright, so for the next section we need to make our way here on the map. We need to come inside this building and take the teleporter up. And we need to find Captain Drine here. Right, and we need to pick up Chaos oh, and Commotion. That's going to have us come right over here to teleport to the bottom floor. Then we need to make our way over here and talk to an uh, investigator. Okay. Now we'll come right over here and click on this. Okay, wait for a little bit of RP, I and then we can to talk to them. them. Return. Right, now we're going to make our way over here. Click on this page. Okay, wait for a second for some more RP. And then we can then talk to the investigator and turn in chaos and commotion. And then we're going to pick up follow the clues. This is going to have us go to the Misty Vale, which is way down here on the map. All right, now that we've made it here on the map at these cords, we'll see the investigator kind of stealthing here. Turn in following the clues, pick up rebels with a cause and pick up detonations locations all right so that has us come this way and we need to kill 15 of these guys and then make our way over there so over here we're going to pick up the quest ruin the rune stones we also need to find this map here Click on it. Click on this map at the tent here. Make our way this way. And up here, we're going to find these stones. We need to destroy those. Then we're going to make our way up around here and up at this little camp. We'll click on these other stones here. Then we need to get the last paper right closer. there. Alright, once we've done all that, we need to make our way here on the map. And we're going to turn in Rebels with a Cause, turn in Detonation Locations, and turn in Ruin the Rune Stones. Then we're going to pick up Maldras in Hot Water. In which case, we need to turn around and make our way down here. And we need to defeat this one. Once it's defeated, we come back up here. We turn in Muldra's in hot water. And then from Muldra, we're going to pick up Chasing Waterfalls. Right, that's going to have us come this way. And we need to... I'm going to just fly over those Drachenoids, come right here. Alright, so basically we just gotta kill these guys and get the moats, like so. Okay, and once we have all the moats, we'll come back to Moldra, turn in Chasing Waterfalls, and pick up to breach May a firewall. 
So we need to come up here and do a little bit of RP with these guys. We'll stand in this, let this go. All right, after a moment, we'll then be able to click on Moldra and turn in to breach a firewall. And we're gonna pick up Rings of Fire. We're also going to pick up the war, our worst of the worst, and fracture the foci. All right, that has us come this way to enter this cave right here. So I'm gonna have to clear to get through. All right, so then we'll just walk right through here. No problem. We've got to kill four elementals and three rebels. And we also need to find these, I guess they're totems, or they call them foci. And we need to destroy four of them. All right, once you've gotten all that, we can the then talk to her. Click, I am ready. And now we just need to protect her. Basically kill everything that comes out. Okay, after all that's done, you're gonna make yourself our way out of the cave, back up here. We're gonna turn in Ring of Fire, turn in Worst of Worst, and turn in Fracture the Foci. Then we're going to accept Report on the Rebels. Okay, for that, it has us go back to the city. Okay, once we're back at the city, we'll take the teleporter up here. And then we're going to that talk to him and protection. turn in report on the rebels. And that completes the Sejourner of Thal Drazis. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat. You just like covering in clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three, I be missed for the road. My oldest like counting racks. Me, I'm the dad in the hat. 